Right, hello. Today I will be showing you how to make custom camos for Black Ops 1 on PC. Uh, well, how I do it anyway. Usually what I do is you go to my good old friend Paint. Usually I make it so it's about 400 by 400 there. I don't know why that works, but it tends to look better when I make that 400 by 400-ish. Right, so then you can put in whatever you want. So let's say you want a bright. Nah, you don't want that. Let's go with a blue camo. So let's just put blue in there. You want a blue camo and you want some light blue uh, lines through it or something. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, that's fucking shit. Let's make that bigger. Sound muted. Ah. No, it did that. Okay, doesn't matter. Right, so, now let's put some lines through there. Right, okay. Could look alright, you never know. Okay, so we'll save that now. JPEGs, we'll call it, I don't know, blue stripe camo strip stripe don't know how to spell leave me alone um yep I'll get rid of that and that's saved onto my desktop so I'm just gonna make a folder here so I've got all these other folders loose to ripe camo probably spelled it wrong again but I don't care so let's put that in there now, you need to then own GIMP. So I would suggest looking that up on the internet, downloading GIMP somewhere. So it's free software, it won't cost you anything. Pretty easy to do. Just look it up quickly. GIMP, download GIMP. Yes, here we go. Very easy stuff. Here you go. Download GIMP. It's free software. Put that back over there because we don't need it. So, what you want to do is right click on it and then open it with GIMP. Hit it with GIMP. Na, 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 na. Ah, at this point, you'll need a plugin also for GIMP. So, before we do that, you'll need to go to this website here, which is probably. This one here. Alright, see so GIMP DDS plugin 2.0. Oh, this will all be in the description. You then download this, extract it, and then you need to put it into here. So it'll be computer, local disk, program files, GIMP 2, lib, GIMP 2.0, and plugins. And excuse me just one second, I'm going to check something. Yes, good, okay. Yeah, and then you need to put it in here, so whatever was extracted, and then you won't have any problems with the DDS stuff. So, let's get rid of this again. Put that over there. So, I'm going to go, um, where'd it go? Okay. Try that again. Open up with GIMP. Hit it with GIMP. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Right. Then it'll go file. Save as. Now this will be some weird file. You want it to be a DDS file, so that the converter. That you, it just needs to be a DDS file. You say save, then it'll say no, you can't do it. Then it'll say take me to the export dialog. Then it'll say export as DDS, and you go export. OK, and it gives you your DDS file. Okay, so close that now. Get rid of that. You now need to download this, uh, that one here, Ooh, not that. this here, uh, which is a DDS to IWI converter. So you can make IWI files, so you can put it into your Black Ops files. This will also be in the descriptions. And I need one of these. Um, just pinch it for a 
from here. Copy, paste. Get rid of that. Okay, then you just take this, which is a DDS file, you drag it on top, and then it'll open up a little box here. And you want Call of Duty Black Ops, which is number three. So you type three, and then enter. And it gives you your blue stripe IWI file. We then need to rename this as camo underscore pack dot punch. And I didn't spell pack right. Punch underscore C. And then you have one done, which is the camo underscore pack a punch underscore C. There are actually three files for the pap camo. There's the C file, the env file, and the spec file. Um, so you can do whatever you like with all of them. All I'm going to do is just change the uh, C file here. But you do, you can change the other two as well. Right. Okay. Next thing we do is we need to find my here, go program files, steam, oops, no, steam apps, sorry, not steam, common, um, black ops, you would usually do, I'm not going to do this because I don't want to change what's in there, because that's my normal camo and I don't want to change it, so I'm going to change it on the lion version, just because it's easier, um, main, then this one here, you're going to open this with 7-zip or just, just download 7-zip if you don't have 7-zip, What's wrong with you? Uh, and you open it up, images, and then you see all of this shit in here. So then, what you do is you get your IWI file, and you drag it in there. And we'll say yes, and it'll be in there. And you want to close this, and you go back, and now you want to go to Steam and start up your game. Black Ops, start. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to start up my correct version, because that's the version I changed it on. Okay. Just bear with me for a second here while the map loads. here all day and show you how great I am at No Man's Land. I'm just going to put on God Mode. Uh, I'm sure you won't mind. And then you, um, this frame rate is awful because I'm recording at a very high bit rate. Yeah, I reckon this monitor is outputting at 15 FPS right now. Ooh, that's not bad. We should have our sexy rainbow camo and oh no, not rainbow, sorry, blue stripe camo. Okay, and it is that easy to make a camo. Although this one kind of looks like shit because I made it in ten minutes. So, uh, yep, that's how you make camos on. 
You can all stop asking me how to do it. Yep.